Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here back with more Let's Play Shining Force 3 Scenario 3 and we are finishing up this battle. The tall grass and the statue. I've got everyone up to level 18. Uh, some a little farther into 18 than others, but everyone is level 18. Let's look and see what's changed. We have uh, Julian level 18, return 1, spark 3, pretty much the same. Uh, his stats, he's got everything still mastered. Gracia! Aura level 2, Inferno, Shining, uh, Learn Stun Palm, I think we've already had that, yeah. Don Hort, same old, same old, he is completely mastered, I think we've already done that before as well. Kate, same scenario. Isabella, heal level 4, Antidote 2, Aura level 3, Support 1 because of the Saint Ankh. Uh, she's, she's doing her thing. She has Seal of Sin and Judgment. Mazel Tov for her. Bridget! Spark level 3. Drain level 2. It absorbs MP. This is actually going to be kind of entertaining. I haven't messed around with it yet, but it, it, because it only absorbs MP. If you do it on someone who doesn't have MP, it has no effect. So, haven't really been able to see it in action. Cyclops! Yeah, he's the same. Raleigh, Antidote 2, Charm level 2, Sleep level 1, uh, has learned Stampede, I think we may have seen that in the last episode. Thousand has learned Gigaton Press, which is an insta-kill move in which he butt-slams you. And Leon, Mega Wheel, Power Wheel, Full Swing, yeah, he's... He's having a good time. Honesty, she's she's maxed. Proton, sleep level two or slow level two and blaze level two. And he learned Mirage Dance, which is actually a different Mirage Dance than uh, Symbiosis. It's a different combo setup. So fun, fun times for that. So we all we have left are these last two ant creatures which we're gonna go destroy and they are actually kind of a threat uh, leading up to this uh, before I power leveled they were the most damaging thing on this map and now they're the only thing that gives any sort of XP and they do crap damage to my hero now so everyone else they'll still do a, uh, a reasonable amount of damage and they can poison but I've got so many antidote herbs there's no I've got so many antidote herbs and so many creatures that have the antidote spell it's it's almost absurd and I don't have the MP to use any of my big spells, but hey, Gracie can cast Aura level 1, because it's more free XP for him. I actually had to rain my healers back. Uh, there's a good chance they could have been 19 or even 20 at this point. Uh, it, it, got, it got interesting dealing with them. But now at level 18, I am officially not threatened by anything that we're going to be seeing in the next little bit. And we are going to cure Honesty's poison. Because we don't like a green Pegasus Knight, do we? And she gets a uh, special attack against these because of the Dragon Lance. And she can one shot him without too much trouble. And Julian will be the one to get the final kill on this map. And friendship with Kate increases. Fantastic. Good job, everyone. And I did get all of the items on that map, so just search through them. Uh, I know in the last episode I pointed out where they all were, so just make sure you get all those if you care about them. Uh, it, 
you could just as easily leave half of them. I will investigate! Uh, no, we're, we're not gonna send you off on your own. Damn it, no, I don't want to send my force... ...one of my soldiers off by himself. It's just stupid. Do you not watch horror movies? He is the navigator. Except he doesn't know where we're going. So he has a feeling about the road. Yeah, let's go to the village. Why there's a village on the other side of the wall just seems silly. Alright, so Don Horton did find a road. Wow, he can move really fast when he wants to. A road that hasn't been used in eons. How do you know this shit? Benetrim is from this side of the wall. Or no. Apparently not. That's what I would have bet my money on. Alright, Benetrim's acting all... spooky. It's actually a little creepy. Now Gracie just wants to figure out what the secret is. He doesn't care what's going on, he just wants to know what the secret is. And I still don't see a road. Can you tell us more? No, no I can't. Stop being so Freaking cryptic, Benetrim. But there's the village, and there's a monster in the way. We're able to see those evil creatures thanks to Gracie's power. What the hell are you talking about? Alright, so there's something in this village that we need to see. Alright, let's go to the village, and in going to the village, we get into another fight. And we can pretty much just plow through this fight like it's, it's not even there. Uh, there is a little bit of a story concept to this fight, which is why I wanted to use the last fight for level grinding over this fight. Uh, so what we've got in this fight, we do have a boss. We've got Hydras, Giant Ants, Hellhounds. The boss of this fight is a Hell Succubus. Freeze level 3... HP of 60, MP of 50, movement of 6, attack of 60, defense of 44, agility of 33, luck of 5. I'm pretty sure she also has a charm ability, so she is just as dangerous as her non-hellish relatives, but yeah. So enemies will also randomly spawn on the map, I'm not entirely sure where their spawn points are, but they will show up. And there are enemies hidden in trees. Hellhounds hidden in the trees. Everything's hidden in trees. So, be careful about that. 
Like I said, if it weren't for the fact that I just spent a great deal of time power leveling, I'd I'd be a little concerned. But I've I've been power leveling, so none of this stuff bothers me. And I'm gonna throw out a spark. Julian's spark is actually quite damaging now. Spark once he's got spark level three, he's he's kind of a threat. And I'm just going to go on a murderous rampage of all of this. I'm not going to worry about who gets to kill who or what's going on. Everything's just going to die. Everything shall be murdered. Things that stand in my way will be beaten to death by Dragon Man. And he, he loves using Dragon Rush. I'm fine with that, too. Dragon Rush is a fantastic ability. I do like the multi-hit combos. Which is amazing, considering I suck at most fighting games. The irony. And Giant Ant. Giant frogs, giant frogs, what can I say back to you? I really need to do something about Leon's agility and his movement. They both blow. And my red dragon. Which I have another red dragon thanks to power leveling in that fight so much. I did get another another red dragon to aid my uh, my conquest. And I don't need to go all out with a spark level 3 against that ant, especially since it's just one. Her spark is still so much more damaging than Leon's. Or not Leon. Julian's. All right. And Inferno for the win. Except it won't. It'll just do a it'll do a great deal of damage. And I need to be careful. I am kind of playing this a little stupidly. I know there's a boss with an AoE spell, but I'm really not worried about the boss. I mean, there's very little that's going to make me worried about this boss fight. I don't know why, I'm just not... It's not even a real boss fight, it's just a fight with a boss. Lance the face. Dragon breath to the face. I'm, I just, I probably shouldn't have power leveled. In hindsight, I, I don't really think it was needed. I think I was just getting a little paranoid based off of my experience in previous shining titles. Like, I just feel that I started this game a little underleveled compared to what I should have been if I'd started the game normally. Just, you know, I, I guess that put a, a, a nagging fear in the back of my mind that I'm underleveled no matter what I do. Which is not in any way the case. I'm. If anything, now I'm overleveled. And the Storm Fang. And a dead giant ant. Now, Don Hort and Cyclops are a little overextended. I'll need to make sure I can get to them quickly with a support team. Oh, it doesn't matter. They're not going to be targeted. I've got Proton, Gracia, and. Julian over there, which 
those seem to be very popular AI targets for bad guys. Proton, I don't, I'm not entirely sure why, but the AI seems to really like going for Proton in this, this scenario. I guess it's the fact that he used to be on their side. But yeah, he's uh He is definitely a target for most of the AI. And I'm just gonna do that for shits and giggles, really. And hey, friendship with Bridget. Alright, the succubus is running away. I'm gonna cure Proton's poison again. That's one of the good things about having so many people with antidote. Is they are... I, I never need to worry about... You know suffering damage over time. And Light Sphere... Dead! I one-shotted a Hydra... with... Yeah. Alright, and now is the story aspect, Spiriel. Because we spared Spiriel's life in Scenario 1, Benetrim remembers her. Was it the re reluctance of the sim of Symbios to kill those being controlled? Oh, she was after Proda. My beloved General Franz broke rank and was defeated. You'll likely have to abandon the Empire. I'm pretty sure she's already done that. And Spiriel the Commander joins the Force! And... do we get to control her in this fight? Spiriel, Commander, level 16, HP of 55, movement of 6, attack of 74, defense of 44, agility of 24, luck of 5, she has a poleaxe equipped. Uh, yeah! Let's see, her versus Don Hort. She is cons well, I mean, given the difference of mithril weapon versus standard weapon, she's about par for Don Hort. I knew I was going to be getting her, I just wasn't sure how I was going to want to do this. Because I want to use her in my main force, I spent a lot of time and effort in Scenario 1 trying to make sure I did not kill the woman. So, I wanted to... I, I want to use her, and I, I'm trying to figure out who is going to be the best person to, uh... sacrifice into the reserve force. And it's either going to be Raleigh or Don Hort, simply because... I already have... I, I would be trading out one Lance user for another. And you guys get to see Gigaton Press! Butt Stomp! That utterly destroys things. It's an insta-kill with a butt stomp. How awesome is that? And it seems that I don't get to control Spirit, or do I? Was I controlling her? I don't remember. If she may have moved forward on her own. The level of attention I'm paying is really next to nil. But it's also almost time for me to end this episode. I 
just wanted to get to that story aspect in this part before we make it to the halfway, or before we make it to the village. Alright, now I can start going after the Hell Succubus. So I will go ahead and end this episode here. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next installment in which we kill a Hell Succubus. Uh, till then, later everyone.